Good evening. I'm Erica Sargent. Welcome to our viewers on TV and on our digital streaming network, CBS in Chicago. Breaking tonight, the showdown between Chicago Public Schools and the Teachers Union moves into a second day of no classes for students. Let's get right to our Charlie Damar live outside City Hall tonight. Charlie. Erica, good evening. Tonight we pressed Mayor Lori Lightfoot about any legal action the city may take against the union tonight. She revealed that an unfair labor practice complaint has already been filed. As for tomorrow, classes are canceled for the second day in a row for all Chicago public school students. As for Friday, CPS says they are confident, they are hopeful that classes can return to in-person learning, but it really is going to be dependent on staffing, so decisions are going to be made on a school-by-school -school basis. Litigation is litigation. Where we should get this done is at the bargaining table. Has anything been filed? Um, a uh, unfair labor practices uh, uh, complaint has been filed. Late Wednesday night, Mayor Lori Lightfoot says the city has taken legal action against the teachers union for what she calls an illegal walkout. I will not allow them to take our children hostage. I will not allow them to compromise the future of this generation of CPS students. Enough is enough. We are standing firm and we are going to fight to get our kids back in in-person learning. If the mayor needs to drag us into court, you know, uh, in order to um, try to force us to, um, uh, you know, do what she wants, we're going to go into court and point out that um, we're doing what we think is necessary. The city says negotiations with the teachers union lasted a few hours this afternoon and both sides still have not agreed to a safety plan to get kids and staff back to in-person instruction. For the second day, CPS choosing to cancel classes. Under state law, we are not authorized to go remote as a district. Some CPS teachers posted pictures of them locked out of remote learning. A car caravan of hundreds of cars echoing the message of union leaders. Teachers want to work remote, at least for now. Union President Jesse Sharkey. If you want to get us back into the schools quicker, um, provide testing. We've been failed by the mayor. We've been failed by the public health office. Once again, parents are left in limbo, forced to scramble and find other plans for their kids for the second day. It's a scramble, uh, I think, both logistically as well as mentally. Now tonight, the teachers union says they were reviewing the latest proposal submitted from the city. Mayor Lori Lightfoot urging the union to get to the bargaining table early tomorrow morning. Again, the big takeaway in all of this class is canceled once again for Chicago public school students. We are live from City Hall. Charlie DeMar, CBS 2 News. Erica. Thank you, Charlie. For parents worried about daycare or food children receive from school, there are some options. Take home breakfasts and lunch are available at schools for anyone under 18 years old in need of a meal. You can pick those up from 9 in the morning until noon. For child care options, the Park District Fieldhouses have a variety of programs available. They're open to CPS students six and older.